Covering Colorado first at five, a trip to a haunted corn maze turns horrifying when a woman says a man grabbed her and pushed her to the ground. She says that man was pretending to be a part of the maze. Well, now the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office is investigating. The victim claims it happened Saturday night at the maze at the Botanical Garden at Chatfield. Sean Chitness joins us there live tonight. And Sean, this sounds pretty scary. Yeah, Karen, and what's interesting is that the sheriff's office tells us on Saturday one of their deputies was here and actually escorted the suspect off the property. But the next day, that's when the victim called in and filed the report. So now the sheriff's office is continuing to investigate, and they want everyone else to learn from this in case they find themselves in a similar situation. Every October, corn mazes across the Front Range become haunted at night. Over the weekend, a woman visiting Colorado says a man pretending to be an employee attacked her. Halloween is that time of year where people can, can um, mask who they are. Saturday evening, she visited the Botanic Gardens corn maze with some family members when a man dressed in all black and a white mask approached her. She said the man told her she had to dance with him, touch him, or kiss him in order to pass through the corn maze. The woman gave her hand to the man, hoping he would let her pass. But she says he whipped her around and threw her to the ground. He also dragged her by the arm before letting her go. Her family came back for her and confronted the man. He uh, was very uh, uh, aggressive and yelled at the family member and said, this is what you paid for. Staff with the Botanic Gardens tell us they're increasing security for the final weekend of the corn maze. Well, it always has been our policy that um, people are not allowed to wear master costumes into the corn maze, but we now, for the final weekend of, of the corn maze for the year, we are going to be extra vigilant about that. And so this weekend, you will see some extra security here, but the sheriff's office says you should also ask what the employees will be wearing so you know what to expect. And if someone does approach you and you feel uncomfortable, you should scream and run away from that situation. Live in Jefferson County, Sean Chitness, covering Colorado First.